and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, and today we're back with some more Alan Wake as part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. Now, last time we obviously came out of the well-lit pipe as we were on our way to the well-lit room uh, to investigate the crash site because, unfortunately, the site looked bad. yeah. But as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. There you go, Alan. Um, Yes, Sarah and Barry crashed in the helicopter, which is not good, really, but hopefully we'll be able to find them. Um, I think we just need to go up here. Oh, I see a flare. Can I pick it up? Is there anything else? Oh, flare gun ammo. Always take that. Let's, um... Oh, yeah, we're fully fully loaded, fully prepped. Oh, another, another flare. Okay. Anything else? The well-lit room. That's exactly where we're going. Thank God. I fear we may be near the end, guys. I don't know. Okay. All right. I'm guessing that's Barry and... Oh, here we go. That kind of did it. Ouch. God bless it. Okay. Ouch. Anybody else? Good God. All right. Well, good. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. Yeah. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor? Ah, uh, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? <laughs> Weaver will meet us at the dam. Yes. See? The Tolkien reference didn't save you in the end, Barry. Well, it maybe it did. I don't know. Anyway, guessing that there's some more stuff in here. No? Nothing? Really? Ah, maybe out here. Or maybe not. All right. Well, it's always worth a peep, I suppose. Anything over this side? Pages? Come on, Barry. Let's um, let's go, dude. Good grief. Okay, so we need to reach the top of the dam. But, yes, I fear we may be near the end. Seeing as we are near the well-lit room. All right, let's go. When you spend most of your night running uphill... While the crazy bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with an axe. You know your helicopter crash landed in Night Spring. Are you alright? Ah. Good lord. Barry is a very um, special individual. Oh, uh. Barry, it's a tiny hill. Are you and Alan part of the same, you know, club of asthmatic pit ponies? Sarah's like fit as a fiddle, run up the hill. Up there. All right. Well, there's going to be some trouble, isn't there? There may be trouble ahead. Most emphatically, I'm sure. All right. Where is it? Oh, it's there. What would you have me do? It's a stupid light creature. Oh god. Alright, alright, alright. We need to go, folks. Was that it? Are we safe? That was wow. I think we're okay. Yes, we're fine. Let's just go. Any more pages, hey, thermoses, what? Let's keep our eyes open. Good grief. All we need to do is get up to this elevator and um, we could possibly get back in that tunnel. Ugh, top of our health. Can we just stay here until morning out? No. Please. No. Taken are filled with darkness, too true. Are they in here? Ooh, I see a thermos. Wait, call the elevator. Hiding. Hiding in the um, in the bushes. All right. Um, let me just. Sorry, guys. I'm just gonna top up my 
the royal coffers, even. There you go. Alright, let's call the elevator. Here it comes. Full of light. Beautiful. Here they come. Yes, oh, indeed. Oh. Yes, I know. Okay, I didn't mean to fire the flare gun, but... Do you know what? That just kind of worked, didn't it? That's fine. Okay, where? Oh. Down here. Oh, oh, he fell off the, the, the cliff. Ouch. I mean... Oh, flare gun again. I must stop doing that. Don't know why you're telling me. You guys are here as well. It's not just me. There we are. Alright. And we're in. Anyone care to press the button? Why didn't you press it, dum dum? Stay in the light. All right, let's reload quick. Get everything loaded up. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. Good. What's the plan, Wade? Well, well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Weaver's crazy. <laughs> Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. There you go. Apparently, he was real. A real writer. All right, here we are. Look at this. Look at the light. Yes. Well, come on. How am I going to get that? Hmm. Oh, I'm just going around here. Stupid woman. Give me that coffee thermos, baby. Thank you. Any more pages? Anything? See, why couldn't we have just come up the stairs? There are stairs there. We could have come up the stairs. Why didn't we come up the stairs? Can we go down the stairs? No. Just a thought. Just a thought. There's a lot of weird noises coming from um, the air the area. Did you see that then? Okay, Wake. There's a button over there that opens the door. Let me guess. All hell is about to break loose. Let's do it. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. Oh, so I have to stand here and do this, do I? <sighs> Good God. What are you going to do? Prop it open? Hold it open? Oh, I have to stand here and hold it. Okay. Alright. Oh, no! Oh, God. Oh, God. You guys go ahead and find Weaver. She should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. Good luck. Do I need to go up this way? Do you suppose? Probably. No? I'll take good... I don't... Oh. Barry can look after himself. He's a grown adult. Oh, all right. I had the right idea, just the wrong... I assume we have to go this way. Wait, Alan. Oh, God. Can I grab this? Um, Zane's shoebox. Huh. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. Oh no. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. Okay. All right, let's go. Alan, run. Run away! Oh god. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my days, Alan, come on, man. Can I hit that thing with some light? Aha! We killed it. Perfect. Okay. Whew.
Whoa! Oh dear. Okay, what's going to happen here? Oh no, not the birds again. Not these damn birds! Stupid creatures. Horrible things. Whoa. Run, Alan, run! Okay. Look at this, though. Wow. The dam. Dam! It's a dam! That is cool, though, isn't it? Okay. Um. Should be, ah, the well lit room. Here we are. Anything else here? Any other goodies? Anything? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go. Let's get on top of this dam. And see... Uh... Is there anything over there? Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, let's just get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, Alan. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Big light. We like a big light. That's, that's handy dandy. Okay, alright, alright. Fishing can be a hobby or a job. Can it really? Ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Yes, so let's get to it. Ah! All right. Ah! Oh! Oh! I saw you. Need to be careful here. Okay. Anyone else? Turn them to dust. Anyone else? Doesn't look like it. All right. Might as well gather up some of this stuff. Oh dear. Whoa. Oh dear. What's going on? Stop, stop now. Whoa. Okay, maybe we better run. Run, Helen, run. Oh God, down here. Really? Oh my days. This is how it's going to be? Go this way. Whoa! Okay, alright, alright, alright. Oh no! Oops. It was a misstep on my part. Oh god, Alan, please. Will you? Jeez Louise, man. Come on, Alan. Come on, Alan. Oh, my God. Ah! Sweet Jesus. Whoa, whoa. All right. Chill out, man. Oh, God. Okay, she's, she's, she's really mad. Give me that thermos, please. I know that's probably not the thing to be thinking about right now, but, well. Oh god, Alan, oh god, oh, jeez Louise, the well-lit room is this way, come on, come on Alan, we can do it, come on, get in there, oh, alright, that was um, terrifying, and here's Weaver, hello, yes, 
that I was wrong. But it was a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. I have looked after the well-lit room for many, many years now. There's no shadow in the well-lit room. Good. Our is fail-safe. All the bulbs are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Right. Sure. Sorry if you could hear any of that, guys. I was just adjusting my chair. Because it wasn't quite high enough. All right. There's an old army base at Raid Cove Point, north of here. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yeah. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Oh. Did she buy it? You buy this sort of thing? Are you going to open it up? Let us in. Oh, we can just examine it. Take it. Wow. Don't worry about the room anymore because six and thirty-three and one eighteen need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. What is it? A page? Can we read it? The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Was Thomas now, Zane? Almost 30 years later, Alan's Alan dad? Of this, as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence, in a story I had written. Oh. I can get to her now. I can finish this. All right. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane. Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake. The clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Hmm. So... Okay, wow, bright. Hmm. I had a hangover. Oh. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. You need to stop drinking so much, Alan. Moments of self deception, I swore to quit drinking. There's my sunglasses. Okay, pick up the glasses. The sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Good God, Alan, you look ridiculous, dude. No offense. Not everybody looks good in sunglasses. What is that buzzing? I wasn't sure I'd make it out there without some painkillers. Don't drink so much. It's bad for you. The answers do not lie at the bottom of a bottle. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Thought I saw something, sorry. Anything in here? Anything we can pick up? Look at? The sudden stop. Ah. Nice pictures. Let's have a little mooch about first. I uh, just want to make sure we're not going to miss anything. I mean, it's a nice apartment. Very nice apartment, Alan. We have been here before, of course. But just, um, just a 
a little nosy round, a little peep, just to be sure. We're not going here, no. All right, let's listen to the machine then. Okay. You have one new message. Ow! Oh God. Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, that she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went a little overboard last night, but parties are a part of this business. Ow! Look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that. Okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. All right. Jeez. Yeah, I like that painting behind us. That's kind of nice. New York, I assume. I imagine. Yeah. All right. Turn on the TV. All right. I'd been a guest on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Garrett Show. Looks like the HD. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Mm. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, Harry this Barrett. might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard. Always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. Now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. Mm. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good, great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, dear. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Well, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> Well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for his Sam. Good Lord. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. At least I've been funny. I told yeah. myself I could live with that. I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. Good God. Are you going to start with me about drinking now? I'll learn. I should have followed her advice. But suddenly I was angry. Mostly at my... Oh, God. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Oh, dear. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey, it's almost over, right? We can get back to normal, and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation, just you and me. Some peace and quiet. There you go. I don't know. 
Odd. Very odd. Oh, and there's the dam again. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. Hmm. Wonder what it'll do. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms. To make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Oh, gods. Good luck, Al. See you later. I think Alan needs the facial hair. It suits the face structure. Without it, he just looks weird. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? Maybe. I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Look at this, though. Wow. You know, despite all the horror that's going on, it's still a nice-looking place, isn't it? Lots of fresh air. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. Oh. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from wow. grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. No. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. All right. Well, I assume we can... Can we drive there? Oh. God bless it. We can drive there. Okay, let's um, let's go. I guess. Oh, oh, oh! There we go. Hmm. It's very curious, though, isn't it? Did the clicker make it light? Did it really work that kind of way? Let's just... Wow, look at that. Quite amazing, really. Quite pretty. Is there anything here that we can pick up? Any goodies? Doesn't look like it to me. No. Alright. Always worth checking. Logging ahead. Oh god, not the logging sites again. Anything here? I just want to know. There must be something, or else it wouldn't flag it up to us like this. Let me guess. Oh no. Oh no, we've only got our pistol. Any more pages? Anything? Ah, look at this! Hunting rifle, yes please, thank you. Anything else? Hey, here we go. Flashbangs and stuff. Perfect. Huh. Like I say, without all the horror elements, it'd be absolutely stunning, wouldn't it? I've said it before, I imagine that a lot of national parks in the US are like this. Very sort of mountainous, lots of trees and stuff, wildlife. Hopefully no shadow people that want to do you in, for no reason. <laughs> But very, very, very pretty all the same. Very pretty. Hmm. Alright. Let's go. Bright Falls Deer Festival. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Do we have to climb a bit over all this now? Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Touch me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel Darkness. its presence again, getting closer. Anything else in here? I thought I'd pull out my flashlight, but obviously I didn't. Never mind. Okay. Can we... Whoa. 
All right. I will kill your wife. It's kind of rude. We don't have that many bullets for that. Okay, let's get the old... Um... Oh. oh, I thought that was a little box then. Ugh, how annoying. Never mind. Let's grab this page. Go away, bird. Get out of here. The Dark Presence wants to stop Wake. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Hmm. All right. Well, this is not good. Oh, there goes the light. Can we use this car? We can! Aha! Okay. Check there's nothing else. Let's get there. Oh, steady. The car, more cars. Oh my god. Hmm. Can we just run them over? Yep. Yeah. We can just do that. Oh, there you go. Drive over 15 taken. Apparently I, I did it. Somebody else? Another one somewhere? Ah, there you are, boys. Didn't quite see you there. Not to worry. There's plenty for everybody. Okay, maybe not. Ooh. All right. Okay. Maybe something over here. Might as well drive around and have a look. <laughs> Just to be ever so nosy. Oh, look at this. Oh. Well. I thought we hit you with some light. Guess we didn't. There we are. Let's keep going. I don't think there's anything else here and I don't want to lure any more of them out. Alright, up here. Majestic Hotel? Alright. Well, I don't know what's going to go on here at the Majestic, but I know we're going to take a little look around. Hmm. Come on, Alan. Old Asthmatic Alan. <laughs> That's what we're going to start calling him. Asthmatic Alan. Being an asthmatic myself, I, um, I can fully sympathise with people who are... Whoa. Can we just go into any of Get out of here, girl. Any more? Good grief. I 
we can go into these, can we? Oh! We can! Oh, this is like the reception desk? Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Okay. Uh, general information. Refundable $100 security deposit is required on all reservations. No personal checks accepted. We take all major credit cards and bank cards. Checkout time is 10 a.m. Uh, 10 a.m. Sorry, 10 a.m. No allowed music, no pets, one vehicle per unit. Facilities are registered guests are for registered guests only. No visitors are allowed on the premises after 9 p.m. No exceptions. We hope you enjoy your stay at the Majestic. If you are a senior or a vet, ask about our discounts. Cool. Well, that's awesome. Oh, thank you so much. I wouldn't keep a thermos in a bathroom, though, on the floor. That's kind of gross. Okay. Well, nothing else in here. So, was this his room? Whoa. Um, obsess much? Give me that revolver ammo. Why not? Is that Barry? That's Barry. Okay, um... I'll take the flashbangs, why not? Anything else here? No. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Create a dilemma? Anything else here? No. I mean, that's kind of weird, dude. Keeping all the pictures and stuff. Can't get in. Anything else over here? That we can examine? No? Alright. Okay. What was that? Someone's going to come bursting out of one of these rooms, aren't they? I can just feel it in my bones. That was a very big crash. Huh. Or maybe they won't. All right. Just having a look. Having a guess. Hmm. Well, okay. Do we have to drive up that ramp, do you suppose, with a car? Probably. All right, let's 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 get in the car. And let's go, baby. Let's go. Oof. There you go. The Majestic Hotel. There's anything across the way here? Doesn't look like it, but we will have a little peep just to be on the safe side. Make sure we don't miss anything, any pages or anything like that. Oh, crumbs! I didn't. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Just. Yep. Oh God! Evie's fantastic driving strikes again. All right. Let's um. Let's go. I don't think there's anything else, is there? Oh no. Oh no! Oh god! There we go. Beautiful. Oh! Another one there. Didn't see him. There we are. Anything else? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Might as well drive around and check it out. As we can. Good God. Well, I suppose there's only really one way for us to go. And it's to get out and go across this bridge. So let's go. Okay, can we just... Yeah, through there. Ooh, flare. Thank you. Nothing else here? No pages, whatnot. 
Or flashbangs. Flashbang would be nice. Alright. What is... What? What the hell? Yes. Whoa! What? Whoa! Okay. Alright. That's enough of this. Oh god, Alan. Oh god, oh, oh, yeah. Oops. Let's reload. Oh, well, do you know what, folks? I think we will leave it there for today. I uh, will have to battle my way across this bridge next time. And hopefully, we'll find the answers at Cauldron Lake as to what on earth this has all been about. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>